If you don't have anything to say, you blab. You just go on and 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 on and
and she wants to talk about her grandpa. Hi, everyone. My name is Kai Madison Trump. I am the granddaughter of Donald Trump. I'm speaking today to share the side of my grandpa that people don't often see. To me, he's just a normal grandpa. He gives us candy and soda when our parents aren't looking. <laughs> he always wants to know how we're doing in school. When I made the high honor roll, he printed it out to show his friends how proud he was of me. I know. He calls me during the middle of the school day to ask how my golf game is going and tells me all about his. But then I have to remind him that I'm in school and I'll have to call him back later. <laughs> when we play golf together, if I'm not on his team, he'll try to get inside of my head. I <laughs> yeah, know. And he's always surprised that I don't let him get to me. <laughs> but I have to remind him I'm a Trump too. Even when he's going through all of these court cases, he always asks me how I'm doing. He always encourages me to push myself to be the most successful person I can be. Obviously, he sets the bar pretty high, but who knows, maybe one day I'll catch him. <laughs> On Saturday, I was shocked when I heard that he has been shot, and I just wanted to know if he was okay. It was heartbreaking that someone would do that to another person. A lot of people have put my grandpa through hell, and he's still standing. <laughs> grandpa, you are such an inspiration, and I love you. The media makes my grandpa seem like a different person, but I know him for who he is. He's very caring and loving. He truly wants the best for this country, and he will fight every single day to make America great again. Thank you very much. Yeah, so very, very touching, very touching. And, but of course, it's so sappy and touching that the bitter women of The View, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, she says this. For me, I have a lot of faith in the American people. Mm. And I don't know very many men who want to be talked to the way that this man has been talking to men in his audience. I don't know any women, and I know his grandchild was up on the thing, and they're trying to humanize him and change your idea about who this guy is. Don't fall for that. Trump, you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. He's talking about Trump. Exactly. See, that's the problem. They don't want you to humanize Trump. They want you to keep the monster Trump. And he's a boogeyman. That's all they got. No policies, nothing good news coming out of there. It's just all bad news. Trump is bad. Republicans bad. They gonna eat your babies and kids. Nothing good come out of there. I want to point out one thing. I'm speaking to fellow Christians. I was raised Catholic. I'm a Christian girl. When something like this happens to you, like this assassination attempt, and you say something like God is watching, was watching me, that is a very unchristian thing to say because it's very narcissistic. What about, what about Corey, what's his name? Uh, uh, Corey, 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 the Corey. fireman who also got killed. I don't killed. know. I think what, some Christian what about all those guys Sandy who got Hook. killed on uh, Sandy Hook? All of those people. Yeah. It's like, oh, God was watching me and not watching them. There's something very disturbing. God about should that. have pulled the plug on that mic yesterday. <laughs> Wait, God is the technician now? <laughs> Thank you for that debate. That debate, June 27th, has exposed the media. MSNBC especially, Joe Scarborough, all of them has exposed them. 
You've been lying. You caught lying. You've been lying about Trump. You've been lying about the COVID. Everything that come out their mouth, you got to double check. Nine times out of ten is a lie. And now we see it. And if it wasn't for the debate. With, um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death, and he's destroying Medicare. If it wasn't for the debate, they'll still been telling lies about Joe Biden, how great he is, how special he is. He's a strong, he's an ox, all that. The debate had exposed it all. And once that debate fell apart for Joe Biden, then they had to bring out the goons. And now even the goons, the hired goons could take him out. So it's all exposed. You're all exposed. So much questions about the Victoria's Secret agents, all that. Everything's been exposed and we don't want to hear it anymore. I can't wait for November to come around so we can make a statement. Joe, you got to go. And take the hoe with you, too. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get your ass off my lawn.